After being in the Canadian Embassy on the Vissaro D-Box simulator, we've now come to Maidstone, to, Vista to Vissaro's headquarters, to drive on Vissaro's highest end rig that they produce, the new Vissaro 10. Now, Vissaro have put together this rig for a customer that actually is a, a real world uh, driver, so they're gonna be using this for training. And uh, it is, as I say, absolutely fully, fully kitted out um, and possibly one of the most insane motion simulator platforms and sim rigs that I've ever had a chance to go on. So to give you an idea, we've got the uh, full D-Box actuators on each corner of the rig, which is producing all the motion, the tilt, the sway, the lunge <laughs> of the vehicle, uh, which gives you a really nice connected feeling, really represents what the suspension of the car is doing. Uh, but in addition to that, we also have the seat belt tensioners here. So as you brake, when the rig moves forwards, the belts tighten up on you, which gives you that uh, sensation of, of that uh, being pushed into your seat belts in a, in a real car. We also have, of course, a direct drive wheel, providing fantastic force feedback details through the steering wheel. Uh, as you can see, I still need to learn how to drive. <laughs> World traffic jam there. Really great force feedback details with the Seto Corsa as well, which is the uh, software we're using. You can really feel what's going on with the road surface and the load in the vehicle. We have a literal, real, real wheel Porsche carbon fiber wheel rim on this, which uh, feels rather nice and uh, rather luxurious. I'm just gonna test the grass there so you can see what the, uh, the motion rig is like on the grass. Look at that, really good demonstration by me there. So you can see <laughs> how the rig captures the motion. That was entirely intentional, I can assure you. Not only do we have servos for the steering and the actual motion of the platform, but the brake pedal that this rig is using is actuated by a uh, D-Box system. So the brake pedal itself uh, can be fully configured through it's uh, how, how it feels, um, how much it travels, uh, all can be configured through the software without you having to tinker with it too much, but it's also an active brake pedal and uh, can take information from the game's telemetry to uh, give you actual brake pedal force feedback. So when, when you start locking up from braking too hard, uh, of course I always drive completely perfectly uh, and flawlessly and smoothly so it's not something I can feel that I can totally feel it because I brake like a lunatic <laughs> when you brake and lock up you can actually feel the pedal vibrate um, and pulsate giving you a really nice feeling for where that uh, the limit is for the braking now that's different to if you've used uh, vibration motors on the back of pedals or uh, even tactile transducers this actually really does feel a lot more like that sort of ABS pulsating feel that you'd feel in a, in a real car pedal rather than a vibration. Uh, and of course, because it's all driven by a, by a servo, it can all be fully customized and uh, set up to however the user of the uh, simulator and the pedals wants it to be set up to, which is uh, actually pretty mind blowing. <laughs> now, another aspect of this rig is the fact that they've uh, fully kitted it out with uh, full control systems so that the customer that's bought this will be able to just jump in the rig, push a button and uh, launch into the simulator they want to play. Because that's one of the main things with Visaro is that they're, they're selling to people that want a turnkey solution, you know. They, they just want to be able to jump in the rig and drive the simulator, practice and train on the tracks that they want to train on. They don't want to be doing all the fiddling. They just get it. it Visaro set it up and they can get in and go. So, oh, I'm missing the carousel here. <laughs> so, it's all set up, ready to go, and you've got all the buttons that make that easy. And then Visaro have used the uh, uh, button controller box on the left here that allows you to change traction control settings and ABS. And uh, it's set up for every single simulator. So this, isn't, this sim doesn't just have a setto on it. They've got iRacing on here. Uh, Automobilista 2, ACC, you know, all, all the main simulators are ready to go. Uh, literally, you turn this on as a user, push a button, you're loading and you can start driving um, without the setup and, I, you know, that's one of the appeals with this sort of solution. 
more. And I'll have to concentrate a little bit through this section of the track. It's a little bit windy. <laughs> but, you know, the thing with motion rigs as well in this sort of simulator is it, it is super, super immersive. And I think also with the, uh, with the triple screens, you, you've absolutely got this uh, fantastic view of the road surface in front of you, the, the track. And you just, as soon as you start driving, you kind of just lose yourself in the simulator, especially on a track like the Nordschleife, which is, uh, I find it super, super hypnotic. Now, they don't only, with this rig, they don't only have the uh, triple screen set up, they also have a uh, full high resolution VR headset that also, which comes with the rig integrated. And Visara have, a, Visara have a solution that allows you to uh, just twiddle a knob on the side to go straight to VR mode. Uh, <laughs> that was an intentional slide there, again, to demonstrate the uh, qualities of the motion rig. So this is basically not only a mental, absolutely mental triple screen motion rig setup, but it's also an absolutely mental VR rig setup. And don't worry, after this video, we will be uh, doing some driving with the VR headset as well, because, you know, we've got to test everything. Uh, that's, that's what I'm here for. It, it's such a hard, it's so hard being me, uh, you know, having to use this luxurious, absolutely epic sim racing equipment. It's, it's terrible, it's terribly hard, uh, such a chore. But we will, we'll be following up with the VR video after this one. But yeah, you know, I forgot to mention, there's also this uh, crazy display screen on top of the wheel showing us the uh, current gear that we're in with LED lights on top telling us when to shift. And there's the wall and uh, we, there we go. Good, good job. <laughs> and uh, so, yeah, the, the motion rig has totally made me into a pro driver. But <laughs> I'm not even talking about the race log interplay, guys. Oh, there's too many things on this rig to talk about whilst driving. Let's, let's keep on going through this, through this lap here. Shifters, handbrakes, sequential. It's got everything on this rig, guys. What's, what we're going to do is we're going to jump in and do a VR video in a minute. And we'll also go over some more details of what's actually on this rig. But as an absolute first impressions of driving this, uh, just, uh, just mind boggling. It's, it's pretty much too much to, uh, to just take in. It's the kind of thing where you, you need like a, a two hour driving session just to get your mind around what's going on with this rig because there's just so much there. But uh, let's just pull over here on the lawn. And uh, my first impressions response of this rig um, absolutely mental. <laughs> that's, that's the first impression. Absolutely mental is probably the only way to sum up the Visaro maxed out Visaro 10 sim rig. Look out for our next video on, on this rig and uh, what this rig contains. But uh, until then, thanks for watching this one. Make sure you click that like button, make sure you subscribe, and have a cup of tea. Thanks for watching, and goodbye, guys.